Hello and welcome to Blue Prism Tutorials. In this tutorial, we will learn how to append or combine two worksheets as part of Blue Prism Excel automation. Before going to start this session, let me recap about the previous session once. If you see in our previous session, we have learned how to merge two worksheets as part of Blue Prism Excel automation. Let me explain you by showing an Excel. If you see on my screen, I'm having worksheet in the employee HR, and also I'm having another worksheet with the same name of employee in the employee IT. One is on my left hand side, another one is on my right hand side. When we merge these two worksheets, this is the below one is the output. How you are going to get the data, you can see over here. This is one worksheet, and if you see on the right hand side, it is going to be merging with the another worksheet. So both are going to be clubbed together and then it is going to create a new worksheet in a such a way both are coming in the same row and then it, and it is going to store the output in the worksheet. This is how we are going to merge two collections by using collection utility manipulation business object. All right. But right now my requirement is different. I don't want to merge these two worksheets as a single worksheet. But I want to get the data inside that I want to get the data. I have to combine or open these two worksheets as a single worksheet. Let me show you how we want to get the output. Now let me expand the output once. If you see over here, this is my work worksheet one up to here. And after that, this is the another workbook. I want the data in a such a way after appending or combining two worksheets in a such a way. Right. For this kind of output, we require same number of columns. If you see in the worksheet one, I am having six columns and in the same way in the another worksheet also, we require same number of columns while you are going to append or combining two worksheets. The reason is that it is going to be mapping each and every column. Okay. And if you see in our previous session that if you are having the same name columns, there will be an issue because of it will be considered as a column, right? Now, in our case, if, if the columns are the same, then in that case, it is going to be appending, right? Now, let me show you how we are going to get the output by using append row to the collection action as part of the collection utility manipulation. Let's switch to process studio. If you see on my screen, we have merged two worksheets by using merge collection action as part of collection utility manipulation business object, right? What we have done, if we recap about that, we have extracted the data from two worksheets and then we have measured that. How we have done it? First, for the worksheet one, for the workbook one, that is HR, employee HR, we have created an instance and we have opened the workbook and by using get worksheet as collection, we have stored the data in the IT collection. And after that, by using the same way, by creating an instance for the worksheet two, that is employee HR worksheet, I have opened the workbook. And by using get worksheet as collection, I have collected the data inside the HR collection, right? And once we have received the data, what we have done, we have measured these two collections by using merge collection action, which is available in the collection utility manipulation business object, right? And after that, we have written the collection by using write collection action into the particular workbook. And then we have closed the workbook and we have closed all the instances. Now also we are going to follow the same process as is, but only the thing is that we don't have any kind of direct action available to append or combine two worksheets in the Blue Prism Excel automation, right? Now, what I'm going to do, I want to append these two worksheets, right? I'm going to open the workbook that is open workbook and then I'm going to collect the data. And inside that I have stored in the IT collection. In the same way, by using employee HR, I have stored the data in the HR collection. Now, I want to open these two collections and I'm going to create a new collection over there. How can we go ahead and do that? Let me change the same collection over here to make you understand. Let me click on the properties. I'm going to give the name as append collection or we are going to combine two collections. 
however you want you can give the name and then i'm going to give the business object as utility hyphen collection manipulation and over here if you see i'm having an action with the name of append rows to collection what it will do it will append two collections at the same time let's select append rows to collection over here you can see the inputs i'm having two inputs over here one is main collection another one is collection to append if you see over here in my screen so if you see over here if it is the main collection this one is the main collection in that case i am going to append the second collection to the first collection i am going to append it to the main collection that is hr or else if it is it is the main collection in that case i am going to append employee hr collection to the main collection that is employee it so based on that that we are going to do right now if you see over here so the row if you observe the employee number starts with 100121 so over here 100131 it has been started right so that what i will do i will append it collection to the hr collection so my hr is the main collection over here so i'm going to select main as main collection as hr so that i'm going to select hr collection and the collection to open the second collection which we have that is it collection now what will happen if you whatever the data has been appended first it will comes the hr and after that we will get the it collection based on prior to which we have given right now if you click on the outputs i want the combined collection data has been stored over here inside the combined collection okay so a new collection has been created let's click on okay once we append these two collection that is one hr collection and it collection we are going to store inside the combined collection data item all right now after once we have combined the two collections we are going to write the data inside the workbook by using write collection action let me show you that by changing the properties over here now over here i'm going to use workbook name as workbook name which is the hr workbook name and collection previously i have used merged collection right now over here what is the collection we will use that is combined collection all right now what is the worksheet i'm going to store inside the test2 only and cell reference i'm going to start from a1 and include column names over here i'm giving the value as true because of i want to include the columns over there to see the output all right now if you see the outputs i don't have any outputs for the right collection over here click on okay before going to start the process or executing the process let me show you the output of the excel first now if you see i am having employees over here and in the same workbook i am having test to worksheet over here i don't have any data over here once we run our process we will get the data inside the test to worksheet all right let's run the process to see the output process execution started as the first step it is going to fetch the data from the workbook one that is employee hr and then it will store the data as a collection by using get worksheet as collection then it will goes for the second workbook that is employee it and then it is going to store the data inside the collection that is it collection by using get worksheet as collection now if you see these two collections are going to append each other and then it is going to store inside the combined collection and from there it is going to write the data inside the workbook in the worksheet of test 2 that the data will be fetched from combined collection all right later on it will close the workbook and it will close all the instance before going to show the data inside the workbook first we will see the combined collection what kind of data that we got it let me expand this and you can see inside the current values you can see first i am having hr employees data you can see over here i am having six columns employee number employee name address contact number job location and email and you can see over here till over here from starting from 100121 to 100130 we are having employees related to the hr and from there we are having append collection that is employees hyphen it related data that you can see 100131 to till 
one double zero one four zero is the data what we have related to the IT employees. All right, I hope you got it how to append the append collection to the main collection by using append rows to collection action. Now let me show you the output in the Excel. How we will get the data over here? Let's open the Excel once again. If you see in my test two worksheet, I'm having all the data over here. As we have seen already in the collection, the same data will be written over there by using right collection action. And if you observe over here, this is from here to here, I'm having work worksheet one. And here, this is the related to the workbook two, that is worksheet two. All these two collections have been appended and written the data inside the workbook by using right collection. And you can see these two are appended over here. That is the major agenda in this session, right? Now, I will show you one more thing. So whatever the input worksheets that we have, if the number of columns will change, then what will happen? So what is the use case over here? The columns are not matching in the worksheet one as well as the worksheet two. In that case, what will happen? It will throw an error. Let's open the worksheets once again. If you see over here, I'm having six columns in the employees, that is the employee HR. And also in another worksheet, in the employee IT workbook, I'm having six columns. So while we are going to append these two collections or these two worksheets, if the columns are not matching, in that case, it will throw an error. Let me show you practically, right? I'm going to delete one of the column over here as job location from the employee-it workbook. Let's delete that. And then I'm going to save that. Now, let's rerun the process once again to see the output. Process execution started. And once it has been collected all the data from the worksheet, and then whenever it is going to open, it will throw an error like columns are not matching. Now, if you see over here, when it is going to be execute the append collection that we got an error. What it is saying, field definitions doesn't match. The number of columns over here is different for both of the worksheets. So in that case, it is going to throw an error while you are going to append two worksheets with different columns, all right? In the same way, what if the column names are different, okay? Now we have seen the columns number of columns are mismatching for both of the worksheets right while we are going to append so now if the number if the names are not matching while you are going to append what will happen in that case also it will throw an error now let me show you that let me undo this file once again and if you see over here i'm going to one of the column in the employee it workbook that i'm going to rename it as job location one to just make you to understand Okay, now I have saved the document. Now let's rerun the process to see the output. Process execution started. Now, while it comes to the append collection right now, again, you can see over here, the, you are having the same number of columns, right? In the worksheet one, you are having six columns and worksheet two also, you are having six columns. But what is the problem right now? The collection doesn't match like in one in my worksheet if you see over here in my worksheet one i'm having job location over here and in the worksheet two i'm having job location one at the name it is not matching the names over here inside the worksheets while you are going to work with the append collection so it is throwing an error the main collection doesn't have doesn't contain job location so not only the number of columns has to match but also the names has to match while you are going to append two collections. All right. To resolve these things, the both the worksheet had the same number of columns and same names of the columns while you are going to append the collection of data. All right. I hope you understand how to work with append rows to collection to append or to combine two worksheets as part of this tutorial. Thank you for watching Blue Prism tutorials. If you have any queries related to this concept, please post them in the comment section. I will see you in the next session. Till then, bye-bye. Have a wonderful day.